Hello everybody, Jeff here. First of all, today is Veterans Day, so a big thanks to all our veterans, current and past, of, and past of all the uh, past conflicts. So we appreciate them very much. And it looks like winter is here. It's snowing pretty good out right now. I'm on my way to work here. So I guess this is the final uh, proof that summer is over. <laughs> and, uh, and it's only November 11th that we're getting snow like this. Um, I have a feeling we're in for a long, rough winter this year. After the last two years have been kind of mild. Um, I have a feeling that we're going to be in for it this year. So. Roads aren't bad yet, but it's supposed to snow for the rest of the afternoon. So, uh, and actually speeding, which I shouldn't be doing. But. Yep, it's a coming down. And also just a little update, I might throw a few of my vinyl videos up on this channel. I'll probably post some of the Christmas music up soon. So, uh, but I don't want to do too many of them because like I said, I don't want to take a chance of getting copyright strikes on this channel, so I'm going to be careful with that, but I might throw a few of them up, so. Let's see how the uh, snow is the rest of the way in. The gas prices are under $3 a gallon, two ninety eight over here. To go see the world. So, I guess that's a good thing. They still ain't see down to where they should be, though. Under a dollar a gallon. But you'll never see that happen. I went down to the recruiter's office. And Jake Siegel, tell us why you and this guy. I volunteered at Ground Zero. My apologies for the shaky video. I'm using my phone. And while I, was I don't have my camera down, with me. I had a sense that I was doing something meaningful and that the work itself carried its own purpose. Well, it's coming it down. It was its own justification. While I understood that it fit into larger world historical events, I understood that September 11th was an historical pivot. Just being down there and passing out supplies. See how the freeways are in a way down. Felt like it was weird. Yep, it's coming down. Downtown Flint's over there somewhere. You can't see over there because there's too much snow in the air. Genesee Towers building, which are going to be tearing down pretty soon. They're going to blow it up. I think next in December sometime. I'll try to get over there and watch that, if I remember. Phrase referring to somebody who's just got it together and good at what they do. 
And my experience was always that as long as you were square away, good at your job, a good leader, good at whatever task you were doing, there were a lot of allowances for eccentricity or pursuits other than what you would identify as a kind of stereotype military pursuit. So I wouldn't want to say that I never felt like a leader either. And uh, that was just because I was so squared away. I definitely had something to do with the fact that I was an officer and it's just easier for me. And this is not to say that I was such a super soldier that I was allowed to be. And uh, nobody ever said anything to me because, you know, I get comments sometimes too. Also, my attitude, my opinion about Google Plus has not changed. It still sucks. I'm reluctantly have it linked to this channel and I'm using it, but I'm not going to be using any features in it. I'm still trying to figure out the settings, but I got pretty much most everything disabled on it except for to see my comments. And uh, one thing that's got me confused. I got a comment on my last video, the, the one where I said I was sh shutting down my Vinyl 727 channel. From Biosite, LJ, who I'm subscribed to, and he's subscribed to me, he's part of the Vinyl community. He left a comment on there, and I went to reply, and it's saying I am not allowed to reply to this comment. So for some reason, I can't. For some reason, I'm not allowed to reply to a comment on my own video from one of my subscribers who's also subscribed to me. And they say this is supposed to improve the comments. Well, it don't. It's made it a lot worse. Plus the fact that there's no limit on them. You can post as long of a comment as you want. People are posting links in the comments and they're posting that weird artwork that really stretches out. I don't know what it's called, but with the characters. But to me, it's a total, complete friggin' disaster. So I'm not, I am gonna keep uploading videos. I've decided that, so. Uh, anyways, I'm on my way. I'm on 23 now, heading on down to Fenton, so, uh, and yes, it's still snowing. It's supposed to snow for the rest of the day, I think. And it's also cold and windy out, too. It's supposed to get down into the 20s tonight. So before I left, I had to double check, make sure my heat tape was plugged in, in the, under the house. There. So, uh, it is, we should be good to go there, so. I'm going to wrap this video up. Y'all have a good day. And it's, even though it'll be tomorrow by the time I get this, get home and get this posted. I also got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So uh, when I get home tonight, I can't eat anything. Because I can't eat for at least eight hours before the appointment. Might grab something real quick on the way home. but Going in for my annual checkup. So uh, hope that turns out all right. Y'all have a good day, and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Boy, the visibility is getting real bad here. And I'm still cruising along at 70. Tell you what, I wouldn't be able to do this in my van. This car handles a lot better than that safari van. And it's also a lot better in the snow, too. So that's the main reason I bought it, to have something better to drive in the winter than the van, because the van is terrible on the snow. So with it only being two-wheel drive. So. Looks like it's snowing a little harder. Careful, it might be starting to get slippery. He's trying to get past this truck here.
Okay, I better shut this down. You know, I'll have a good day again, and we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.